I'm Coach RJ of www.fitclub.fit and today I want to talk to you about measuring tools outside of the scale and how we should be tracking progress and success over the course of not just 30 days. So if you remember that we don't want to just focus on 30 days, we want to focus on the next 30 years. So what is the whole meaning of this? Okay, what is the whole meaning of the videos that I've created prior to this? The thing we have to understand from the three points, decrease in your carbohydrates, what was your caloric surplus, hormones for women, and time of day food intake, and also fluid intake, what is the importance thing? Well, number one is that you need to have multiple methods of measuring tools, okay? Don't use the scale as your only means of tracking your weight loss success or your fitness journey. I don't wanna say that weight loss is your only answer, it's one of the answers of many. So what are my recommendations? Well, if you go back to previous videos that we posted, look up Fit Club Alternative Measuring Tools. An algorithm will pull up something similar to that, but it has to be Fit Club Winnipeg when you do the search. We're not that big enough yet that if you just type in Fit Club, we're gonna be the number one. So Fit Club Winnipeg and look up measuring tools. Now what I'm gonna tell you is scale is one of them, yes. I like our in-body scales because they're not only gonna measure your weight, but they're gonna track your body fat, they're gonna track your muscle mass, visceral fat, and body age. So those are all other key elements that can tell us that we're doing the right thing. But right away, I'm gonna tell you, if you're working out and if you're hiring a belly burn coach to help you control your nutrition and you're actually following the program and you're being real and you're telling the truth to your belly burn coach, then those are already the two keys to success. If you're doing those two things, in the course of five to 10 years, and that seems forever, you're honestly going to see massive changes and your life is gonna be completely turned around. So right away, that's success as it is. But that scale is one of the measuring tools. The other measuring tool that I would tell you is to go and get yourself a dress or something that is fitted that can't be shrunk and can't be stretched, okay? Because when you go to put those jeans on and they're not jeggings and you can't button them up, but in a year's time or two years time, those jeans fit you, in fact, they might be too big, that's gonna be another measuring tool that all the things that you're doing are a way of tracking your success. But again, I reiterate that if you're working out 30 minutes a day at Fit Club and you're doing our workouts and you've hired a belly burn coach for the six times that we offer it throughout the year and you're keeping yourself in check in between, I guarantee you those two things alone you will be successful. You don't need a measuring tool. Those are the two tools to success. So the clothing is another thing because it's like a tape measure for your entire body. And what about photos? So if you're just starting, and this is literally day one, and you're like, I'm gonna do the next month, because that's what we do for our, our new members, is you do the five days for five bucks, and then you do the one month offer where you just attend. You focus on attending. We're gonna give you some challenges that you're gonna do Monday through Friday. And what I would like you to do is to take that photo first day and then take it again after your first month. And then every month, take a progress photo. And honestly, if you put them together for the course of 12 months, it's gonna be like a baby growing. You're gonna see changes. They're gonna be small changes, but at least for you, you're gonna be able to see those, associate those wins and be happy with the success and the progress that you're making. And if one day you're having a bad day, and you're wanting to give up, which I would tell you, doesn't matter where you're on your journey, never give up. Fitness, working out, eating well is for life. You should be doing this until they put you in the ground, okay? The longer you do this, the more consistent you stay at it, the longer you're gonna be able to live the way that you're living now. And you might think, you know what, I'm not worried about it, um, you know, but then there's things throughout your daily life that you just can't do anymore. You know, one of the things that I, don't like to hear is I can't. Because it doesn't matter what you are. I remember people telling me when I turned 30, wait till I turn 30, this is gonna happen. Wait till you have kids, this is gonna happen. Wait till you turn 40, this. and I'm like, none of that has happened. You know why? Because I didn't let it. So I want the same exact theory for you, okay? So continue to do this for long term. And the photos are gonna be that thing when you're feeling down and out, feeling discouraged, having a bad week or a bad month or whatever it is. You can look at your photos and say, you know what? I did that. I just showed up for 30 minutes, five days a week, did the Fit Club workouts. I tried my best when it came to nutrition. I did everything the coach told me and I can actually see this visually. 
So now you've got three measuring tools. You've got the scale, because that's the easiest. That's the lowest hanging fruit. You jump on the scale, you lost five pounds, you feel ecstatic, okay? But now these other scales, they have you multiple methods of measuring. Then you've got that piece of clothing that you just can't shrink and it won't stretch. So you gotta fit your body into that and that's a great way that you're gonna be able to measure if things have changed in your body, if we're reshaping you. And then the third is gonna be photos. The photos, track them over the course of 12 months. Tra track them over the course of 12 years. And you're gonna be able to see month one versus month 12. Year one versus year two. Year three versus year five. And continue to do that because you're gonna be able to see that even if you feel like you're not getting the results, you're honestly getting them because why? You're gonna be able to see it. So not only are you gonna get an amazing shape, not only are you gonna stay functional for a lot longer, but you're reshaping your body into what you really dream. And it might not happen over the course of your first workout. It might not happen over the course of your 30 days. But I guarantee you, if you stick with the process, you trust the process, and you do what the coaches tell you to do, you're gonna get there. It's a guaranteed thing that if you do those two things, working out and then hiring the belly burn coach to keep you accountable for your nutrition, that you're gonna see success for life. Now, I hope you guys liked this video. It was a, a long video, but I feel it was something that is going to help you when you're first starting off in your journey, or maybe you're already into this journey and you're into you know, year two that we gotta understand that this long-term progress is what we should be focusing on. And that the scale is going to play tricks on you. But the scale over the course of time will tell you exactly what's going on. And we'll know if we've been you know, naughty or if we've been nice. And we're also gonna create other methods for you to be able to track your success. Now, if you're looking to get a part of myself and my team, and you wanna get long-term success, not just in weight loss, but in fitness, in your family, in everything that your well-being is about, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. If you're a non-member or you live abroad or anywhere, we do have a virtual offering. So we do five days for five bucks, either in person or we do it virtually. And if you're looking for more advanced coaching and you've already established your workout routine, or you're a long-term member and you really want to step it up and see how you could be challenged so that we create change, then mention the belly burn.